Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is AdUp's Android Spyware. The big story today seems to be the surprise that a number of Android phones shipped internationally, including ones that are sold on Amazon and here at Best Buy in the USA, have been shipping with deeply embedded spyware that seems to uh, share a lot of private information with a company in China. At best, this is really aggressive advertising software that takes a lot of your personal information for perhaps advertising usage, but at worst, this could be a purposeful backdoor that's actually taking a lot of information about you and can help install malware on your device and so forth. In any case, the story comes from researchers from CryptoWire, who among other things seem to uh, kind of research the security of mobile systems and their assurance level. And actually, they uh, stumbled upon this issue due to happenstance. One of the researchers bought a blue R1 HD mobile device and noticed that it was sending unusual network traffic. But in any case, case, they reversed it and, and unencrypted this traffic to learn what it is. What they learned was the firmware over the air process, one of the things on your Android device that's designed to allow carriers or companies to update your firmware, your phone firmware, over the air, uh, was also using some mechanisms to communicate a lot of personally identifiable information to a company in Shanghai. And this included things like your phone number, the identifying uh, aspect of your phone, like the IMSI or the IMEI uh, numbers of your phone, which can actually pinpoint uh, that particular device, but also things like not only your text messages and your contact lists, but the actual body or content of your text messages themselves. Also, this particular uh, update mechanism had root access to the phone, so it allowed uh, these device manufacturers to also be able to install anything they wanted on your phone using this channel as well. In any case, these researchers found this kind of hidden process on the phone that allowed it to report back all this information to uh, servers in Shanghai uh, every 24 to 72 hours. And there's really a lot of dangerous information in there. While you might argue that some companies might gather uh, use usage statistics uh, for advertising and to, to pinpoint the usage of their customers, this really is a lot of personal information that tells a lot about you. I mean, why should any phone company be actually tracking the content of your text messages? In either case, they've contacted both the manufacturers of one of the particular models, Blue, but it turns out the company that actually is hosting this server is something called AdUp's Technology in China. And they, they claim to be a big data organization that helps help uh, phone carriers and companies learn more about their customers, but obviously they're gathering a whole lot of information. Apparently one of their representatives said that uh, this particular uh, backdoor or spyware was put there for one of their Chinese customers, but it never should have gone on US-based phones. In any case, no matter where you are in the world, not knowing that your phone is actually transmitting all this private information back to somebody is, is pretty dangerous. Uh, so anyways, a very very interesting story. Uh, now there's not a ton you can do about it. Apparently one of the manufacturers, Blue, who was contacted, has released a firmware update that does remove the components or at least their capability to send this information back. Uh, the CryptoWire researchers also pointed out the specific processes or, or parts of the Android system that were actually doing this. So if you're a brave user that roots your Android device, you can actually remove this process. But without root, there's really nothing you can do uh, as a phone owner that's vulnerable to this other than wait for the manufacturer to patch it. Uh, by the way, CryptoWire seems to have also informed the government about this flaw. So uh, they have a blog post detailing some of the information in their findings, but they haven't released a full report that I know of yet. But we'll see how governments react to this, because as I said, it's really unclear why this is there. The company says it was for one of their clients and it was mostly used just to help troubleshoot customer issues. But it's kind of suspicious to think, why do you need someone's text messages to troubleshoot their issues? So I'm not sure if there's any practical takeaways here other than if you have certain affected vendors' phones, like the Blue R1 HD, do update it. But other than that, the one thing we should learn from this is to, to think about supply chain issues. Nowadays, modern equipment like phones, it's not just the carry you have to worry about, it's anyone else they get software from. For instance, their firmware over the air systems might come 
come from somewhere else. Maybe some of their advertising capabilities come from another organization. And basically every single organization you add to this uh, supply chain, especially when these are companies all over the world in different regions and different political climates, add some sort of risk. We need to get better at figuring out how to secure that entire supply chain. And in the current geopolitical climb where, where nation states are actually doing cyber espionage, it's kind of worrisome to see companies that actually release this sort of software that has major privacy implications. In any case, very interesting story. If there's any big updates or, or further report, we'll be sure to share it. In either case, I really highly recommend you read the blog post. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you.